that my eyes lost the experience. Make sure you check it out. There, we get into the ceremony and we start the ceremony. And the reason why I want to do the ceremony, uh, the reason why I wanted to do the ceremony is because I wanted to, I wanted to, I want to spiritually progress. I want to become um, someone who is just better spiritually, helps physically, all that stuff, you know. Um, so we, I went up there with my family, a few family friends. Um, and <laughs> well, the reason why I, I went to do ayahuasca is because I wanted to be a YouTuber and I was too afraid. Um, I kept putting everything in front of it. Um, I wanted to stop working for other people and work for myself. Um, and the other reason I forgot, but <laughs> we got up to there and we, we kind of like started with the ceremony. The ceremony started slowly, of course, because briefing, all that stuff. Um, and then he finally gave us like the liquid. And of course he like blesses the liquid with um, the like tobacco, organic tobacco. And of course we did it legally. Um, and everybody, when you first like do like the research on it, they tell you how nasty it's going to be, how gross the, syrup, the, the liquid is, the ayahuasca is. Um, how much is gonna hurt you, but me, I had like a completely opposite experience. Um, I drank it, it tasted like molasses. They said they have the consistency of molasses, it doesn't. It tastes like just nasty, like water or something. Um, so when I first do it, I lay down because I figured that's how the best way I'm gonna receive it. And I lay down, and of course, like the first thing I start to feel is I start to feel like numb and kind of like, um, like drugged a little bit. Like I couldn't move. And me, I have like a really big irrational fear of demons. So I figure like when you have the experience, you like super, sometimes you hallucinate, sometimes you do whatever. Um, I figured that I would hallucinate demons and I'd experience hell or all that stuff. And next to me is a closet. And the closet, like it's cracked a little bit. So I, I, I keep thinking, oh my God, I hope whatever's in it doesn't come out to get me. Um, I hope that I'm just okay with, with whatever. And then I start sinking like into the ground and everybody grows like 20 feet, 30 feet, whatever. Um, but that's like the first dose that was like the extent of how much I went through and then the man came over um, And gave me a second dose And with the second dose it kind of was really the same thing except my eyebrows got numb a little bit And like the numbness kind of kind of trickled down to my face and then I really was unable to move I remember like we had this blanket or I had a blanket over me because I was like cold-ish He kept opening the door um, I was cold and I could not pull the blanket over myself. I remember laying down like this and the blanket was just like hanging off of me and I could not pull the blanket back over me because I just could not move. So um, as we like progress into it, like nothing's really happening. I'm just sitting there. Everything's kind of like psychedelic. Um, things are sped up. I'm like watching the guy's arm. His arm is like doing like some weird thing with his elbow and playing instruments and just moving at super light speed. Um, and that was like most of the extent of it until about the ending of the ceremony. That's when I started really like experiencing like st stuff. Not a lot, but stuff. Um, I kind of went back into my childhood, like the babyhood of my childhood, like the, the, the really young areas where um, growing up I really didn't have my parents around. And my aunt was kind of that parent. She was the one who kind of was more so my mom and my father um and i kind of focused on the parts of my life where children need certain attention to kind of reassure or assure confidence and my parents were never there my aunt was there um and i kind of focused on that and then there was a part where i kind of imagined hallucinated dreams whatever the part where um, my father wasn't there so i was supposed to take his place um and nurture myself in ways that he never could. So I was supposed to like become my own father to myself and nurture myself, hug myself, touch my little baby tummy, all that stuff. Um, and yeah, then about like when it came to really close to an end, I kind of like really became grateful to my aunt because she was the one who was there and she was the one who kind of more so raised me or helped mold me into the person I am now or becoming now. Um, and yeah, that was pretty much my experience. I don't, I don't feel like it was too much of a big experience, but when I like tell everybody about it, they always go in and say how much like I went to change or how much, um, of like what I went through, like it was a really big thing that I went through. 
Um, but oh, that also another part that I went through, um, there was a part where I saw that I had to accept the fact that I'm a man in this lifetime or a man in general. Um, so I kind of saw myself as not a man and I had to like change or that picture changed into my being a man now and um, I had to accept it. I still don't fully accept it, but it's getting there. And yeah, that was my experience. I'm Sunny B, choose me. Ah, ah.